Hi everyone. My name is Megan Lashley. My pronouns are she, her, and I am a teacher at Chase Lake Elementary in the Edmond School District. This read aloud is part of our 2S LGBTQIA Pride Month book series. This book is called Red, A Cran Story. It is written and illustrated by Michael Hall and published by HarperCollins. I really love this book because it teaches you about the importance of being true to your inner self. And it teaches you not to assume we know or understand someone based on their outward appearance. Are you ready to read this book? He was read. But he wasn't very good at it. Oh dear. Did you see he drew a blue fire truck? His teacher thought he needed more practice. I'll draw a red strawberry. Then you draw a red strawberry. You can do this, really. But he couldn't, really. Like this? Oh my. Let's try again. His mother thought he needed to mix with other colors. Why don't you two go out and draw a nice round orange? A really big one. A really orange one. But they made a big greenish one. Yuck! Whoops. His grandparents thought he wasn't warm enough. Your class is making self-portraits for parents' night. Wear this warm red scarf. Nice. It's so you. But it so wasn't. There's reds. Oh dear me. Everyone seemed to have something to say. Sometimes I wonder if he's really red at all. Don't be silly. It says red on his label. He came that way from the factory. Frankly, I don't think he's very bright. Well, I think he's lazy. Right, he's got to press harder. Really apply himself. Give him time, he'll catch on. Of course he will. But he didn't catch on. Green, drew a green frog, black, a black sheep, brown, a brown cow, and red, ah, a blue ant. All the art supplies wanted to help. The tape thought he was broken inside. This will help hold you together. The scissors thought his label was too tight. One snip should do it. I thought he wasn't sharp enough. Stay still now. But even with all our help, and all his hard work, blue hearts, blue cherries, blue fox, blue polish. He just couldn't get the hang of it. How do you think Red is feeling? One day he met a new friend. Will you make a blue ocean? For my boat? I can't. I'm red. Will you try? So he did. Thank you. It's perfect. You're welcome. 
it was easy. And he didn't stop there. Bluebells, blue jeans, a blue bird, blue whale, blueberries. I'm blue. He was not red, blue. And everyone was talking. My son is brilliant. Who could have known he was blue? I always said he was blue. It was obvious. His blue ocean really lifted me. All his work makes me happy. His, straw, his blue strawberries are my favorites. He's so intense. I'm going to make a green lizard with him, a really big one. I hear he's working on a huge new project. He's really reaching for the sky. And he really was. And that's the end. Can you think of an example of an identity or a part of you that others may not know about just by looking at you? Just by looking at blue, others didn't know that he was blue inside. Hmm. Someone who looks at me might not know my dad has a different skin color. His skin color is a lot darker than mine. And that's because he's Mexican. Someone who looks at me might think I like to wear dresses because I'm a girl, but I never wear dresses or skirts. It feels so good to be yourself. Things got a lot easier for Blue, and he was a lot happier when he stopped trying to be red, and he tried being himself, Blue. I hope today you can learn from Blue, and I hope you continue to learn more about yourself and that you always try to be true to who you are. I hope you enjoyed this book and happy Pride Month.